everyone. Good morning, students. Again, this is Agumardi Guadalupe, your teacher in Tel E ICT Computer Hardware Servicing Subject. Today, we will be having a new lesson to discuss, which is all about differentiation of products and services. But before we start, let me present to you our learning targets or objects. Oh. So this will be your objective for this morning in which at the end of the lesson you are expected to first differentiate product and services, we compare different products or services in business and create a product to differentiate to another to other products. the process of distinguishing a product or offering from others to make it more attractive to a particular target market vis-a-vis -vis the competitors products as well as firms own product offerings so that is product or services is all about so it is the process of distinct distinguishing a product or services from others this involves detailing the characteristics that are valued by customers that make it unique so product differentiation creates a competitive advantage as customers view your product as superior when utilized successfully you may also hear it referred to as the unique selling preposition which is the act of advertising or communicating your product differentiations it is important for companies to stand out because there are hundreds of new products hitting the market every day so when faced with too many choices cons consumer can be overwhelmed and often walk away rather than make a buying decision that is why it is imperative to find a way for your product to stand out and be considered unique valuable next is the basis of differentiation first we have the attributes of the product or services the preferences are created by actual differences in the tangible product or service offered by the focal firms vis service competitors offering so again the preferences are created by the actual differences meaning it is a tangible attribute that includes such product characteristics as size color weight volumes smell taste touch quantity or material composition for example when you want to buy a new car you might consider tangible attributes such its col size color and material compositor the next basis is the rela relationship between the firm and its customers the preferences are created as the focal firm develops and exploits relationships with customers based on what the focal firms targets target the customers want so the relationship between the firm and its customer so through the developing of a relationship with your customer and earning their trust they will move past customer service or product issue more easily knowing that you will address their concerns and resolve their problems to the best of your ability the third linkages between or within the firms meaning preferences are created the focal firm combines with the competencies of different functions within or across organizations to produce tangible and or intangible differences between the focal firms offerings and produce tangible and or intangible differences between the focal firms offerings and those competitors okay when we say linkages it is our relationships and interactions between tasks function departments and organizations that promote flow or information ideas and integration in achievement of shared objectives so, so you must create a preference preferences within or across organization in order to produce tangible or intangible differences between the focal firms offerings
differentiating factors. We have products, services, next is the image, channel, and then personnel. The product differentiation. The, character, the characteristics of the product differentiation are the following. First, we can differentiate product by its price. So, differentiates from the compet competition based on pricing factor. So, a price differentiation is a pricing strategy that charges different segment segments of customers altered prices for the same products or services. So, we have here an example. So, this is a superior quality at the lowest price. So, that will be the differentiation by the other products. So, another example. The total nano car, the total nano, nano car, we can differentiate by other car product. Its price differentiation is that it is the cheapest car in the world. We can differentiate it by the other by its price, the 1.23 lakhs only. It stands for economy and affordability. The tar it targets family shifting road to to two-wheeler to our to tour wherever so that will be the example of another differentiation is the form so many products can be differentiated in its form size shape or physical structure of the products a form can be differentiated based on the form of the product the physical structure the size shape of the product can be used to differentiate it from others so one of the example is the beezer the beezer product so we can differentiate it by the other product through its form for example it has the rum based alcohol with 4% alcohol fruity taste it light drinks and target customer urban ladies okay. another example is that the beer soap so we can differentiate it by the other by other saying or describing its form let's say for instance it is a glycerin contents transparent soap it stands stands for gentleness and purity and generally focus on women and children segment okay another is it features the product can be offered with varying features that supplement the basic function. So, product can differentiate it by its features, which are the things your product can do. One of the examples is the Nikon. Its feature is high-end SLR or DSLR selling company. It provides high-end lenses, features high megapixel sensor. So, another example is the Himalaya Herbals so it differentiate Sean features is that in is that it range of 100% natural with natural herbs no chemical based use punchline purity and safety its price is higher than competitors and its target high classes both youth and mature okay another is the Pantajali Okay, its features, we can differentiate it by the feature. The differentiation is that it provides a large range of 100% natural with natural herbs, no chemical base use, promote ancient values, price lower than competitors, and promoted products is made in India and made for India. And the fourth differentiation is the customization. The marketers can differentiate products by customizing them for different users mass customization is such an example so the customization it helps organization differentiate their products from their competitors with all the product and price comparison application now available there is a greater size transparency allowing consumer to easily compare product features and make sound purchasing decision so one of the example is the revolu revolution clothings. So it customized 
the differentiation is that it's customized plus size fashion it covers waist size as 28 to 44 to 44 and then provides the customers the options to get customized and ready-made made clothing so another example is the apple iphone so it can be customized to user specification it can be downloaded desired application and it has one thousands of application available online and best packet gadget so that is different that will be differentiated by the other product through its next product differentiation is its performance okay performance this means the level at which the products primarily feature or or operate okay performance product differentiation can create a competitive advantage for product seller and ultimately build brand awareness brand awareness so one of its example is the Lamborghini so it, its performance is high and it's, it's differentiated by the other through the performance so the differentiation is that high-end sports car company it provide one of the fastest engine in the world an average Lamborghini can travel from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 3 seconds, more expensive than competitors. Another example is the Google. Okay, its differentiation is that the world's most preferred search engine of its performance rather the performance differentiation. It is the wor world's most preferred search engine, comprehend data search on web with real, real pace. Other features include images, news, maps, weather forecast, YouTube, blogs, sports score. Next is the durability. It means it measures the products operating. So another example, so measure the products operating. One of the example is the cell phone. Its durability at the 8 a.m. the battery battery has 100 percent. 12 a.m. the battery has a 3 percent remaining. Okay, another example: 27, 12, 11. A 8 a.m. battery has 100 percent. Year 2062 battery still has 100 percent remaining. So that differentiate the that is the durability differentiation example so another example is that in the top and competitive laptop market there are some laptops which stand out these are the ones made for mountaineers and harsh environment researchers so their cost is very high as compared to normal laptops okay another example of the durability so its differentiation is that another example is the Duracell its differentiation is that the manufacturers or the manufacturers alkaline batteries higher battery life it provide in all sizes and variants and cheaper than its competitors okay, another product differentiation is the reliability when we say reliability it is the measure of the probability that the product will not malfunction or fail within a given time period meaning the products that are considered reliable and offer long-term value are often touted as better than the comp competition so product reliability is important not only to the manufacturer but also to the consumer so when the consumers purchase products, they have certain certain expectations as to how well those products will perform and for how long. So one of its examples is the, the Gurdy Lab. So its, its differentiation is that it is India's most trusted product for labs. It implies latest technology and constant innovation, the price higher than the competitors. Another example is the 
the che Chevrolet or the General Motors in India. Its differentiation is that it is re reliability in sales under the brand name of che Chevrolet. Chevrolet sells its car under the Chevrolet Promise Retail Scheme, which guarantees free maintenance for three years. And GM also claims that it has the lowest maintenance cost after three years. Is the iPhone? It is very high. Its differentiation is that it is very high-end mobile phones. It's like metal designs, known for being the style statement nowadays. Slogan: If it's not an iPhone, it's not an iPhone. So another product is the Nike. So it differentiates by the other product because it defines sports lifestyling most stylish among sports wherein it is available in different color combinations. So characteristics of service differentiation, but what is service differentiation by the way? It is the design and delivery of the service to service to have unique and valuable characteristics relative to other services in the market. So these are the characteristics of the service. First, we have ordering east. Second, the delivery. The third one is the installation. The fourth one is the customer education. Next is the consulting and repair. Start with ordering east. So when we see ordering is, it refers to how easy it is for the customer customer to place an order with the company. So this is a this is a differentiator on which many internet businesses are based nowadays. So have you noticed an increase in an overall purchases because of the penetration of e-commerce? So people used to do window shopping when they had time. Now they just have to browse their smartphones whenever they are free. So no doubt, this has resulted in more impulse purchases than the history of mankind. And this is also the reason that most businesses are preferring online marketing as the mode of selling their products. Okay, one of the examples is the Flipkart. Flipkart.com. So, so the Flipkart is an online shopping portal. It is easy to order. It provides convenience using Flipkart apps and cash on delivery first bought by Flipkart. Next is the delivery. Okay, another service differentiation is the delivery. It refers to how well the service is delivered to the customer covering speed, accuracy, and the customer care. Delivery is a major marketing tactic to differentiate your services. Just look at the popularity of Pizza Hut or Domino's. And the only reason these two brands are popular because of their claim of 30 minutes delivery or free. So one of the example again the Domino's. So it is differentiated by the other services because because it, the differentiation is that it challenges for the delivery in 30 minutes or less. It guarantees hot pizza on delivery, capturing market because of the high quality of home delivery service and the targets middle and upper middle urban consumers. Okay, the installation it refers to the work done to make a product operational in its plant location. The customer training refers to how the customer's employees are trained to use the vendor's equipment properly and efficiently. Okay, companies which sell air conditioners or technical equipment like cold rooms, ducting equipment, and etc. have to differentiate themselves through their services. So, are you like to install a cold room when you know that the brand provides poor service? 
So at any time, a restaurant's cold room has very high-priced material and food items stored within the cold room. So besides the, the heavy equipment examples, even normal products require installation and it should be simple. A fridge delivered at home has an easy installation and so does a television. People have gotten so used to the plug-and-play system that they don't mind the installation services taking up half an hour of their time. But it better be a fast installation because customers will not be ready to accept a lot of installation time for an item which is practically a day-to-day -day usage, usage thing. So, another example is the Tata Sky. So it differentiates by the other services is that it is an India largest TV service provider. It provides on a call delivery of the equipment and provides free installation of the same of the same and it also trains customers about the use of the product. Next is the customer education or the customer training. It refers to how the customer employees are trained to use the equipment. So the customer training is necessary and an important aspect of differentiating your services. So when you are selling products which are new in the market, you have to import proper customer training so that the customer does not misuse the product. Remember, the customer is more likely to blame your company than he is to blame himself. If he does not understand the handling of the product, that is your fault too. Or two. So many companies understand that customer training is necessary and hence they have imported the training as a norm in their installation procedure. So when you example when you order a stove at home, the mechanic explained explains you the process of using it personally. So when you order a washing machine, you can have a demo call along with the delivery of washing machine. So these are ways to instruct the customer on using the machine properly so that he is happy with your service. Okay, the fifth one is the consulting customer consulting it refers to data information systems and advice services that the seller offers to buyers so a key factor in differentiating your services when it comes to consultation is being updated as well as the street level experience of the consultant a consultant is expected to have a holistic view of the complete industry and then the company he or she is consulting. Hence, knowledge and street smarts are two things differentiating a consultation company. Service differentiation is the maintenance and repair. Okay, maintenance and repair program help customers keep purchasing products in good working order, an important consideration for many products. Okay, repair services need to differentiate themselves with the response time. Many tech products like your iPod and printer have online knowledge bases which users can refer to so as to solve their problems immediately. Companies like Dell and IBM have on-site engineers who take care of all customers' needs. They also ensure that the network is working properly and they take care of regular infrastructure maintenance and repair in their hands. So the faster your response time and the more quality work you do, the more easy you will differentiate your services when it is a maintenance or repair service. service. There is a good revenue generated through maintenance and repairs as well. Look at the service centers of the automobiles. They will remind, they will remind you periodically of what services or maintenance is due. And these services earns a good amount through replacement or spare parts and by keeping spare parts in stock. 
company have the largest network of service centers in India. It introduced high quality on-site service and maintenance in India. So, and that's the end of our lesson for this morning. So, do you have questions? If none, go to the e-learning path at the www.atigayat.com. You can review their our lesson and then I prepared also an activity there. And if you have questions with regards to our activity, you can contact me with this number, 0905090244. You can message or call me anytime. So thank you so much for listening and God bless everyone.